bagels in Brooklyn. Go hand in hand. Used to be bagels Brooklyn and the Dodgers, but we still have Brooklyn and the bagels. Bagel is part of my whole background. Bagels was a breakfast food, a lunch food, a supper food. These people in the Midwest, they wouldn't know a bagel from a donut. The only reason they ever saw a bagel was one fell off a truck. Four professors were dissecting it before they found out what it was all about. Life in Brooklyn rotates on bagels. What else is there in life? Hot bagels that taste beautifully. The process of making bagels, we have to put flour in, uh, malt, salt. That's the last you're putting in there. And we put pails of water in. And in the water, we put the yeast in. We mix the yeast by hand. And the machine starts running about a half hour. By that time, all of the work is done, all the processing is done, and then we take the dough out. Take the dough out, we put it on a table. This is cornmeal. We put it on here so the bagels won't stick. Then we start cutting it like this. We get it down firm and then we start making strips. Now we start making the bagels. I guess everybody knows bagels in New York is just one of these things that go together. As where if you, you go outside of New York, a lot of places don't even know what a bagel is. From what I understand, I think the reason for that is the water. In uh, New York, there's something in the water that does it. These bagels are much better than the machine maker because this is a handmade bagel. There's a better taste to a handmade bagel than a machine. Each bagel that I'm making now should weigh approximately about four ounces, four and a half ounces, you know, right around there. On a board like this, you get, you put them down, seven down, five across, 35 bagels on a board. And a dough around the size of this, you should get about 90 to 100 dozen out of it. I wait for the pot to boil. As soon as the pot starts boiling, I take my bagels and throw them in. These are water bagels, they have to cook. They have to sell and make sure they cook. Yeah, I'm putting the onion seeds on. Some garlic. Putting some poppy, some sesame, now with some salt, the rest I'll make plain bagels. Now, water on, take the bagels, six in a hand through, through the holes, spread them on. I let that spin around until the caps get dry, then I turn it over, then I let it go around until it bakes out. It's a 400 degree oven. Now I'm going to turn the bagels over. I let them roll in about three minutes so they won't stick to the oven when they're wet.
Everybody smiles, everybody laughs. Bagels in Brooklyn. Do you know what bagels are used for? You got a flat, you got old bagels in your car, you fix your flats. Hot, handmade, delicious. It's good for any type of epidemic that ever happens in Brooklyn. Have a dozen bagels in your safe. There it is. Life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Nah, it gives me them bigger. Without this, I'm a lost soul. You can be living in Peoria, in Ashcan, wherever you live. If you haven't got a Brooklyn handmade bagel, you ain't living. You heard it? Eh? Yeah. 